What's up guys, your girl Luca here, back with another video, and today I will be discussing the absolute insane, insane number in regards to Hogwarts Legacy's sales. But before we get into that, if I could ask you guys to please hit the like button, it would be much appreciated. So, Hogwarts Legacy. Listen, Hogwarts Legacy has earned 850 million in global sales and moved more than 12 million units in just the first two weeks post-launch on the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and then the PC, according to numbers released Thursday by the video game company. That marks the biggest global launch ever for the Warner Brothers uh, Discovery-owned brand, with the Harry Potter action role-playing game also setting the Twitch record for single-player games with 1.28 million peak concurrent viewers. Here's the thing, guys. Listen, I think all of us knew that these numbers were going to be insane. We knew, as I knew, as soon as the Twitch viewership came out and they were like, oh, broke records, I'm like, mm, this game's going to sell like crazy. This game's going to sell like crazy because at the end of the day, regardless of how anyone may feel, the Harry Potter IP is still huge. Still huge to this day. Just look at Universal. So here's the thing. All I can really say when it comes to this boycott is uh, sucks to suck, man. Sucks to suck. Like, Honestly speaking, in so many ways, and it's just a colossal failure in so many ways, not only did they fail to achieve their intended goal, which was to get people to not purchase this game and for the game to fail, they also, you know, they also uh, failed at retaining their uh, would-be, could-be potential allies by alienating themselves and pushing folks away by trying to push this narrative that if you play this game, if you buy this game, somehow you're on the same level as JKR. Somehow you're you're supporting and you're down for her transphobic views and you yourself, you are a turf by association. And now it's like, oh, <laughs> Oh, well, like, you know what I'm saying? Because here's my thing. Ever since people started coming out talking about, like, talking that mess, I was like, mm, I really don't care about what any of you guys have to say about this outside of me discussing it for my videos. You know what I'm saying? Or talking about it on Twitter just for conversation's sake. I don't really have any feelings about it. You can't make me feel bad about playing a video game. At the end of the day, y'all are strangers on the internet. Um, honestly, I think more people would do better if they stopped allowing certain things to get to them. You know, there were there was a few people talking about unaliving themselves because of this entire situation. I'm just like, mm. therapy, my my babes, therapy. Therapy is the thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know, if you can't afford therapy, I'm sure there are alternatives. And by I'm sure, I mean, I know there are alternatives, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, perhaps look into that instead of going around talking about... Uh, <laughs> on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe, mayhaps, mayhaps. But uh, yeah, here's the thing. It is what it is. And I know that there are some people who, listen, regardless, I think the Harry Potter uh, IP is strong enough that Hogwarts Legacy would have sold well. It, it, it would have always sold well, right? But I do think the, boycott, the, the boycott, and more importantly, people having this this narrative that you're a bad person if you play this game and you're in and, and I'm just gonna like uh slap this very nasty ugly label on you just because you want to buy a consumer product I'm gonna just slap it on you and uh if you feel bad about it we don't care if you feel bad about it you know if you want to donate to charity with the proceeds that you make off this stream we don't care you're playing this game and you're supporting her. So therefore you're an awful person. You're the worst. Like all these crazy, crazy labels thrown on people. And it's just like, what have you, what have you achieved other than failure? <laughs> You've achieved failure. It's very impressive, you know? And I just feel so bad because I know that there are people in the trans community who are like, uh, I actually don't care. Like that's not me, right? But now because... There were a few nut jobs. There were a few nut jobs. Some of them not even trans themselves going around pushing this narrative and attacking folks and verbally accosting people. Now everybody in the trans community has got this nasty label put on them where it's like uh, unreasonable, um, 
delusional, irrational, rude. All that stuff just slapped on them. Uh, there are some people who've been saying some very foul things. And I'm just like, it doesn't have to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get that there are so, like... There's no room for nuance, and there has never been any room for nuance when it comes to this conversation. People have always just taken it to the nth degree, and I think it's because the prevalence of social media has just pushed people, pushed people into this point where it's like, you know what? I don't have to use my brain. I can say whatever asinine thing I want, and it's going to get thousands of likes, and I'm going to find other idiots who, who agree with me, you know? Other like-minded brainlets, you know? So... Hogwarts Legacy opened with a stunning player engagement, a topping 276 million hours played from launch on February 10th uh, through February 21st. Okay, and then they just they revealed <laughs> they revealed the numbers. You know, uh, additionally, there's been an increase of global franchise fan engagement overall, with Wizarding World Digital garnering 300 percent higher traffic over the normal monthly unique visitor average for the first 10 days of February. And yeah, man, like listen. It is what it is, man. Like, boycotts in this nature don't work. They were First of all, if you weren't going to buy the game in the first place, it's not a boycott, okay? It's not a boycott if you were never going to buy the game. But there were some people who were like, I'm not going to purchase the game because I don't feel right. I don't feel right about it. And that, and you know what? That's okay. I, I'm i like, yeah, I'm so down for that. There's no problem with that. There was, like, some chick who's like, I'm not going to stream because I don't want to support this game. So I'm going to, like, take... A break essentially while uh, Twitch is running ads for Hogwarts Legacy. I'm like, okay, I mean, <laughs> sweetie, how long are those ads gonna run? Probably for a while, considering how popular this game is. But you know, that's your prerogative, that's your right, whatever, who cares, right? Like the way she framed it was in a way where it's just like she was requesting people join her, but she wasn't. I don't, I mean, I'm, I don't recall if she was attacking people. I don't think she was, right? So here's the thing like, I'm just like, listen, man, Hogwarts Legacy is about to be a franchise. It is a hit franchise, man. Uh, we are about to get Hogwarts Legacy 2, okay? Um, apparently, we're getting a television show as well. That's that's also uh, in the works. And uh, who knows what else? There's probably, there might be some more uh, merchandise coming out. You know, I bought me some Slytherin gloves and, and a Slytherin hat, man. It's, it's cold out here. So I purchased it. I got, you know, I got what I had to get. And uh, yeah. <sighs> sucks to suck, man. And again, I just feel so. Actually, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. Um, I stopped feeling bad. I don't even know if I ever started really feeling bad. Like all I could really say is, again, it's just this concept of alienating your community with this this nonsensical language and the the so-called would be attacks you know what i'm saying and it's been going both ways like i've seen some people say some really foul genuinely transphobic things in response to this and i'm just like it doesn't have to be like that guys but the, i mean the people who were already shaky on those issues because generally speaking when it comes to uh things involving the trans community people are very ignorant on that subject. Like, it's not something that's been discussed in a genuine way and mainstream, you know what I'm saying? So people who are a little shaky on it, uh, <laughs> push them further away, honestly speaking. The people who were considered, um, you know, they were like, I don't have an issue with trans people, but you guys are going to attack me. Some, a couple of girls burst into tears because their chat uh, got, on, got on them. Like me personally, <laughs> I would have said something else to my chat myself, but you know what? Like, you know, like, you know, we're all different people and we all have different things that we can handle. Uh, me, myself, I'm not going to let a bunch of uh, randoms on the internet tell me what I should and should not be playing and try to tell me what kind of person I am when all they know is what I show them. You know what I'm saying? So I digress. That is what it is. But yeah, like, there are people less inclined to care now, you know, because it's like, you, you wanted to slap, you wanted to, and it's not just people in the trans community, it's their so-called, so-called allies who thought they were doing the right thing, the right thing, um, who just decided to make things absolutely 100% worse, and now everybody looks bad, and I'm just, it's like, if there's a few 
the rot spreads. It just takes one or two, one or two rotten to the core to spread across the barrel and just ruin it all for everybody else, right? So I digress. It is what it is, man. Congrats to uh, Avalanche. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, they're not working on sequel right now, or not even, not even that. Apologies. They're not working on DLC right now because uh, the game hasn't fully released for everybody yet. It's still coming out on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 in April, I believe. And then also, I think. Yes, in April. And then also on the Switch. So, you know, they're not working on DLC yet because they got to make sure they get the release out. Uh, Switch, July for the Switch, right? So, you know, congrats to them. Shout out to them, man. It's a genuinely good game. I enjoy it. I'm feeling a little bit of um, open world fatigue right now, though. So I'm taking myself a little break. But um, I, I've enjoyed my time with it so far. And they got a hit on their hands. And congrats to them. And uh, I hope the next time we have... A boycott situation perhaps people can choose to conduct themselves in a different manner and mayhaps they'll find themselves ha possibly having the same result but you know who knows how many sales were pushed because of people spewing that nonsense man but uh, that's it for me let me know what you guys think about this game you know doing as well as it has done and uh, i will catch you for another one peace